everyone, welcome to a late run here for the 389 on American Truck Simulator. This is some, a video that was supposed to be out yesterday, but um, yeah, it didn't record. I thought I hit the button, I must have double tapped it. I got done with this run and as I look up in the corner of my monitor, the frame rate counter for Dick Story is green, which means it's not recording. Uh, if it is recording, it, re it shows up as yellow. So, unfortunately, as I posted, and you guys might have seen on my Facebook page, yeah, we're delayed. But here it is now, finally recorded, finally, you know, ready to go. And I've got a few things to discuss. Uh, some things that have, you know, gone on, and as you've seen, I've got a cattle haul around here. Uh... I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for another cattle haul video. You guys really love this this trailer pack, and I know some of you guys have had issues getting it to work in your game as well. Um, I took this pack, went onto my multiplayer profile, which has no mods, and put it on there, activated it, and I think out of the whole freight list, I only had like six or seven of these trailers, which is far more than what I have on this profile. I had to sleep twice and quick trip to a different garage just to get one trailer to show up. So, I mean, if it is at all possible, this seems to be a submissive uh, pack. You know, it, it, it doesn't put up a fight against other packs. So, uh, it will let itself get pushed out and so if you guys are really wanting to run these trailers and I don't know if there's other cattle hauler livestock trailer packs out there but if you're looking to run this trailer and there are if there are no others that are available then you guys are probably gonna have to you know deactivate many of your trailer mods just so these show up more often in the freight market. Wrong button on the camera. Almost went through the mountain. But, uh... Eventually you will find them. And... The order I have these in... And I don't like this pack of cars up in front. The order I have this in, and it, it, it's the first one is a regular. It says livestock Wilson livestock pack, or you know Wilson livestock trailer. And okay, you know, we're slowing down. No, oh, damn, someone's there. Oh crap, crap! Why are you defensive driving? Uh. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so you put that up there first, and then you can take your chrome wheel and your steel wheel trailers and throw that in there after that, whatever order you want. So my priority list order goes like this. First off, it's the sound fix pack. It's 15.6. That adds all the ambient sounds that you hear in the game right now, the extra tires on, you know, you know tires on the pavement, things like that. Um... After that is MHA Pro. So you got your five parts for that one. One, two, three, four, five. After that, I have real companies and trailers or real companies and cargo. I forget the exact name of the mod. It's in the Steam Workshop, though, also in my mods list. It changes out some of the, mod, some of the companies from SCS, um, you know, the cargos and trailers as well. And then uh, I've also got the real engines and sounds uh, pack out of the workshop as well, which adds a few engines as well as corrects a few and adds sound files for others. Um, so I've got that as a high priority. After that, it's this cattle trailer pack, and I still had to go through all that work, all those hoops, just to get this one trailer. So. Uh, keep that in mind, guys, when you uh, are looking to get this trailer. And if you're having a hard time, you might have to remove, or not remove, but at least deactivate a couple of your mods. Uh, I don't know which ones, so you guys are, will have to fiddle with it and play around to see uh, just exactly which one is, uh, you know, 
blocking this, this trailer from showing up. Also, if you guys are on the fa on my Facebook page or uh, on my Facebook profile, Casket Man Gaming, you guys have seen my shifter setup, and that is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I've modified the drawer, as you can see in the photo there, and it, 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 this was part of a regular file cabinet like drawers a double deep drawer whatever it's called and this desk ooh hello I'm thinking I just ran over my, my Mazda or something um, this desk is at least 30 years old I remember being 6 or 7 years old smashing Hot Wheels and then baseboards it's old and so I could just replace the whole damn thing, but I kind of don't want to. So what I did is I took the drawer out, got my, my reciprocator saw, and cut off one of the sides. And then I got some old shelving uh, particle board pieces, and that's what I, along with a 2x4, and that's what I used for my bracing from side to side to mount the shifter, as well as the SciTech farming sim control panel. I wanted to put my joystick in there as well, just not enough room. The base of this Logitech 3D Pro is just too big, it won't fit. Uh, I put a hole in the back so I can run the wires for everything out the back, and then I put a hole in the back of the desk so I can run it right out through there and into the PC. All the wires are nicely tucked away now for the steering wheel, the pedals, everything's all tucked away. and you know, somewhat neat. I can do more, but that's later. Um, but it, what it, this does is it takes the shifter from off the edge of the desk, where many of you, I'm sure, have yours, along right next to the wheel, and it puts it down into a spot which is almost in the same area as it would be if you were driving a truck. Um, it's not as... I mean, the shift point, you know, the pivot point is still you know, a foot above ground, but, and usually the shifter is going to be a little higher, but still, it puts it in the ballpark close to where you would have in a truck, which is really great for me. I It, it brings back that little bit of feel uh, and, and familiar, familiarity uh, with shifting and, and driving. Um, now, I do have the G29 wheel and shifter. This knob it's got some weight to it. So, if you've got the G29 shifter, or you plan on getting the G29 shifter, uh, this, and you don't have this shift knob from CSIO, keep in mind, it's got some weight to it, and it makes the shifter feel a little flimsy. It's really easy to move it, you know, from, from gear to gear. Uh, there is no way to, to tighten the tension on it. I heard on G27 you can, but it's a, it's a mod, it's a modification you have to do, and so I'm not quite sure if I want to, you know, rip apart my shifter here and try to modify the tension spring that's inside there. That's what it does for the G27. If you guys have one, you're look, you know, you like the idea, you know, check it, you know, search YouTube see if you can find something and good luck to you me on the other hand I'm gonna put on my either birthday list for next month or my wish list for Christmas I'll get a Thrustmaster uh, I think it's like the TH8 something I've seen it on Amazon it's like $147 that one you can adjust the tension on it and so that's kind of what I'm looking for. I would like, you know, I'm not going to be able to get the whole grinding gears part back. I know that. I never, I'm never going to see that. But at least the resistance would be nice just to get one step closer to how it feels to drive a truck. So that's on the list. Now that also means I'm going to have to get a new adapter for this thing, which hopefully doesn't take another two months to get. But, uh, you know, overall, I'm very pleased with this shifter. Um, I was told Velcro comes along with it. 
I didn't notice any unless they were talking about the Velcro that they use to keep the, the USB cable bundled up. And it's not a twist high, it's one of those, uh, why is I not going to five high? Oh, that would be why my splitter was down, Oop, or my range. Still getting used to it, guys. <laughs> I know I, I, I said I figure all that stuff will go away, but uh, I'm bound to screw up here and there. Um, I was in low when I should have been, you know, in the mid range or. But I ended up just grabbing a zip tie instead of using the the Velcro that was around the cable and. I, I tightened down the cord that comes out of the bottom of the knob here. It was just dangling loose, and I don't know if there should have been some shoe goo in there or, you know, something to secure it, but it wasn't in my case. Um, so I just grabbed the zip tie and, and zip tied it to the shaft here that comes out the bottom of the knob. So now the cord is secure on the bottom here. Um, it's really stiff. Both, both the switches on here are really are really stiff, the range and the splitter. Um, so, I mean, take a couple minutes if you guys get this and just kind of move it with your, by, your, by yourself in your hand as you sit there and, you know, watch a video or whatever. And, and it isn't going to make a big difference, but it will uh, the more you use it. And eventually, I'm sure it will wear in a little bit and it will become easier to flip that thing up and down. But uh, it is it is pretty tight even now. Um, it's still pretty, and I've done a few runs on it already. So uh, hopefully it does wear, you know, break in, if you will. But other than that, it, it's a great feeling shifter. Um, you know, aside from or it's a great feeling knob. It, it, aside from my shifter here, um, you know, it, it's really well worth the investment. So mine was one hundred and twenty dollars and no easy brake so that will bump up the cost if you guys go with that. I got the 18 speed medallion on it so that was a little extra as well. You guys don't have to go that route but I was going for the realism and how mine always looked when I drove so and a lot of them do come that way but um, you know well worth the investment hopefully you guys go ahead and pick up one or two <laughs> I'm not getting any kickback on it I'm not getting paid for advertising or whatever I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion and I'll give it another week do a few more runs here with this and um, you know let you guys know next week Monday or uh, you know during one of my videos next week you know how it's going what I, am I still loving the shifter uh, do I like it more do I like it less one week impressions if you will so, with that, I also changed my shift pattern here in the game. I was just using the straight 1 through 6, and then hit the split, go to 7 through 12, and then up to 13. Uh, here, I selected Eaton 13 speed, and because most of the trucks like this one here, I do use a 13 speed. Um, you know, I will sometimes use a 10 speed. Not very often do I use an 8, 18 speed that is. But um, normally I use a 13, so I figured why not just stick with that. It is different. Of course, it brings it more towards realism. And now that I've got this knob on here, I'm comfortable with, you know, running the transmission that way. Um, but, you know, one, like I said, it is different. So, the throw is also different because of this. I mean, we're talking another six to seven inches have been added onto the shifter you know once you remove that little ball that's on top and you throw this thing on so the throw is really further than what you're used to so uh, be mindful of that you think you might be close enough to be in gear because you're used to the short throw but now you gotta go even further I mean we're talking a good swing of you know seven or eight inches from you know, first to second or third to fourth. Um, you know, it, it's it's a good good range.
Next, I wanted to remind you guys as well for tomorrow, Wednesday. That is normally my live stream for ATSMP. Uh, this week, though, the guys on my convoy, they've been wanting to do ETS2. Okay, let's change it up. Let's do some ETS2 multiplayer. So, tomorrow, it's not ATS, it'll be ETS multiplayer. Um, hopefully you guys tune in for that one. I know I've got some people who are either subs of mine or not subs. Uh, they've been asking me to do... Asking me to do ETS, too. And... So, alright. I'm gonna try that. That skin with that trailer. And that sound outside, too. I need to figure out what I need to do to get that sound inside. That skin in this trailer, that looks just looks perfect. But, um, I know I've had people asking me as well, you know, are you going to do ETS 2? I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a handful of videos, see how it goes. If you guys are really warming up to it, if you like it, great. I know a lot of you guys who are subbed to me, you're here for ATS. Uh, so some of you might not really be all that warmed, you know, warmed up to the idea of ETS if you've already done it, been there, done that. Uh, yeah, I like that outside engine break. Maybe I'll try removing the real engines and sounds. There's another example of, I thought I was in gear, but I wasn't. I wasn't all the way because of a different throw. Was it me or did that trailer just look longer than normal? Now, if I do do the series with ETS 2, I'm not going to do it as much as I do with ATS, and I'm only going to stick with European trucks. It's going to be a major learning curve because I really know next to and nothing about ETS uh, European trucking. Period. I know some areas call them lorries, uh, and I know that the reason why cab overs are so popular over there is because the Europe has limited the total overall length of the truck from bumper to bumper uh, while here in the states it's only the trailer that's been restricted not the whole truck so that's all I really know <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to learning more and uh, you know I'll give it a shot and I'm only going to use European trucks in this My, uh, European trailers, map packs, and tractors only. Um, I'll leave the American stuff here for ATS. Besides, it doesn't it doesn't really work too well in in ETS either. Uh, the roads are not made for a 53 foot trailer and you know a Peterbilt 389 long chassis with a drop axle. You know, it, it just doesn't work, especially if you're on, if you take the train through the tunnel and to go across the channel. You know, and the, the for the five minutes I have played ETS back in December, uh, I did have a 53 foot trailer and a Peterbilt and, and a 389, and I go into the tunnel and the trailer doesn't fit, and I'm coming out, and the trailer is jacked up on top of one of the rail cars. And so as I pull away, it pulls off the rail car, comes crashing to the ground. I don't, I didn't get any damage, but 
you know, it just doesn't fit. Um, so I'll stick with the European stuff, European tractors and trailers, and uh, you know, hopefully we can have some fun with it. Nothing serious. I'll just do a simple career, one or two videos a week, and uh, you know, as long as I keep interest. And as long as you guys keep interest, you know, I'm not going to bore you guys with stuff that you really don't want to watch. Hopefully you do, though. Also, with the 1.4 beta, public beta, uh, I know some some people I've seen in posts, uh, they have gone over to 1.4, and some have been reporting it breaks trailer mods. Uh, I guess Vipers 2.0.3.89 deactivates. Uh, now, as I record this and edit this, he has... Viper has updated the Steam Workshop with a new version 2.02 uh, and should work on 1.4 if you still have his truck it will auto update or should anyway. Um, if it doesn't then just unsubscribe and resubscribe to the truck and your game won't know anything different and you'll be able to continue on as is. Um, I do not plan on going with the 1.4 beta. Uh, I will wait until it goes public. Um, I'm going to wait, hopefully, and see if Trailer Packs also updates. This is going to be interesting to see because there are a lot of Trailer Packs out here that have been abandoned by their, mo by their, their creators. Uh, whether they were created from scratch or ported over from ETS or... 18 wheels of steel uh, You know a lot of mods out here have been abandoned and they haven't been updated and they're not going to be updated So we'll see uh, how things turn out and ooh, this is gonna be a nice little No, don't stop don't you stop You dumb son of a bitch Come on I haven't even seen a Bridgestone trailer before. That's very cool. Now, if we, I don't know if there's a skin for the tractor. Kenworth T880, 680 is what they use. Come on, you child molester van. There we go. Is that car still there? He's still there. He's not turning. Why didn't you turn? At least he wasn't turning left. But as for the betas, yeah, I will wait until the rescale beta comes out. And I'll bet money, 20 bucks. And I'm not up to date on any of the announcements from SCS or the rumor mill. But I got 20 bucks that says that SCS introduces the 389 at the same time they introduced the upscaling. From earlier comments, I kind of got the idea that we're looking at September no, or October-ish, barring any issues, for both of those. So, I wouldn't be surprised. I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time will be the last. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put 20 on that, but the, we will see both of those, the 389 and the upscale, by the end of October. I'm not shaking any hands, though. I don't know where those hands have been. So if I'm wrong, no, I'm not giving anyone 20 bucks. Where are we going? Where are we going? Back left. At least it ain't over there by the Walmart trailer. Oh 
over. Yep, there's the cones. That's a nice. That's not skilled, that's easy. Simple backup. But as I back up, I might as well go ahead and just run down the quick checklist of what I've discussed here. The trailer seems to be a submissive one, easily pushed out, bullied out by other mods. So if you really want to run this trailer pack, and there aren't, I don't know if there are any other livestock trailer packs out there. But if you're using this one, I believe it's originally from BART, uh, check my mods list, it should be there. If you're using this one that I have on my mods list, remember that you're probably going to have to deactivate a good amount of your trailer mods or else you're never going to see this thing. Um, Wednesday livestream, ETS2 multiplayer, not ATS, and next week is postponed. It's going to be on Thursday, not Wednesday, for next week, so keep that in mind, guys. So, stay tuned for tomorrow. Backhaul coming up as well for Wednesday, uh, live stream Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.